Hey guys, so Apple has officially released today iOS 18 Developer Beta 3. And of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys what's new with the latest beta for iOS 18. This one came in two weeks after beta 2. So it looks like Apple is still on a two weeks release schedule for new betas for iOS 18. There still isn't any public beta available just yet. Apple could release the first public beta perhaps later this week or even next week, early next week, alongside an additional beta for developers, but we haven't seen the public beta just yet. And now this download was about a gig of a download from beta two to beta three when I updated my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let's head on over into settings general and about right here, the iOS version, right there it is. That is going to be the latest build number as you can see right there now i'm very happy with some of the changes happening here with the third beta although apple did not add the apple intelligence features that we were hoping for i think they're going to wait at least another week to also just make sure that everything is okay before pushing this one out to public beta testers and uh, this download today as i mentioned was about a gig of a download alongside ipad os as well so ipad os 18 beta 3 was released today for the ipad also tv os 18 beta 3 for the apple tv TV, Vision OS 2 Beta 3, and Watch OS 11 Beta 3. Now, Mac OS did not get the beta today for some reason, so no Mac OS update, at least not yet. If they do release that later after this video, I'll make sure to annotate that in the description of this video. So right now, iOS 18 Developer Beta 3 is super happy with a lot of the changes. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the new dark mode icons theme here on my iPhone. So obviously with iOS 18, you can now go into edit mode here, go under customize, and you have several options. You have the automatic switching, you have dark mode, you have light and tinted option. So within iOS 18 beta three, if you choose dark icons, take a look at this here. So take a look at my YouTube icon, see that? They now have that dark mode theme and looking icon. Even if developers do not update their icons, it looks like Apple is gradually changing every single icon into a dark mode themed icon here with iOS 18. 18 beta 3 so many third-party icons have automatically switched without me having to do anything other than just change from light to dark mode and i think apple will eventually make it so when you go into customizing and go into the dark theme icons every single app on your iphone will go into a dark mode because obviously that is the gold you don't want some icons to just look normal and some go into a dark mode i think that is the right move and i think apple is working towards that so as you can see there as i mentioned take a look at the youtube icons there with the dark mode theme treatment there within the latest beta let me know what you think about this because i'm always for dark mode icons this has been my choice since the first beta and seeing this option added so where third-party apps also adapt to dark mode i think it's a home run for ios 18 especially here with beta 3. now there's also some changes happening with control center i do have another iphone here running beta 2 so that we can have some reference here so if we go into control center here and we go under customize and click add a control apple has added additional controls towards the bottom here so things have been moved around a little bit as well so we now have more controls for accessibilities we have motor right there and we also have the hearing aid accessibility options so just more accessibility controls overall options available for you here within control center for ios 18 developer beta 3 which is a welcome addition as well now something else that i've noticed has changed is emojis as well as i mentioned this iphone here on the right is running beta 2. let me show you the emojis on this iphone versus the new emojis in beta 3 so take a look at the emojis there see how much larger the emojis look on the third beta in comparison to the second beta there's more spacing in between the emojis they look larger as well as you can see right there so yeah the emoji keyboard definitely receiving an update here within ios 18 and developer beta 3 and not only that if you go into the messages application and tap on the emoji option here you also now have the option for stickers directly with your emoji keyboard and your memo Emoji stickers are integrated within your keyboard as well something previously not available obviously within iOS 18 a beta 2 or beta 1 as you can see right here I can switch through all my stickers and emoji stickers directly from my emoji keyboard which is a welcome change here as well so now let's go ahead and take a look at the lock screen because there's some welcome changes happening here and I wanted to share those with you guys one of my favorite new updates to iOS 18 is the fact that now when you go into customizing here on the lock screen of your iPhone you have 
have a new option. So right here, if we swipe all the way to the end, we have purple, we have the blue, we have pink, we have yellow, and now we have the dynamic option. So take a look at the new dynamic option. So when I switch, you see there that the iPhone lock screen, their colors change and adapt according to the time of day. This is new dynamic wallpaper option within iOS 18, which I really love. Once you click done, obviously your wallpaper will adapt according to the color that pertains to the time of day, which is super cool. I really like this option in Mac OS, and I'm happy to see this come over to iOS as well. Now there's also some minor changes happening here within the drawer. When you go to customize, your icons here on the bottom of the screen. You also have more accessibility options available for you to choose from here on the lock screen shortcuts as well. So those are gonna be some of the changes happening here for the lock screen. Now, of course, stay tuned here to the channel. I will continue digging around the software. I'll give you guys a follow-up video here in just a couple of days. Obviously, once the first public beta is available for iOS 18, I'll also keep you guys updated. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.